Hey everybody, let's talk about how to get a single reference into our reference manager Zotero, into a shared reference um, collection. So here we go, I found my paper. Now I've gone into the database, I've gone into the library, I've logged on, I've found this paper, I've decided this is a paper that's relevant to my research, so now I wanna download it. So you're gonna, there's two things you can do here. One, I can say I wanna view this PDF and so I've downloaded this PDF. Now if I look, it's the full actual document that's exportable. So I'm going to say save as. Now that I've, I have this in the window, I'm going to say save as. I'm going to go to wherever it is. I'm going to save my reference. And I'm going to save this guy in here. I could, I could change the name if I wanted to, or I could leave it the same. Okay, so now I've grabbed the actual reference. So next we're going to go back to where I just was. And I'm going to uh, grab the citation. So I'm going to come right here, and um, uh, now I could add it depending on what, how I have my um, uh, database, how I have that configured. I could download directly, but I'm going to show you the most generic way, which is if we don't have the system configured already, I can do that. So I can come up here and hit Cite, and right, and, and it'll always be slightly different depending on the journal and the database. But the most generic thing is this RIS file format. So I'm going to pick that. I'm going to say export to RIS. I'm going to save this to a different folder just to be a little bit easier for me. I'm going to save that right here. Boom. Got it. So now I've downloaded the actual document. I've downloaded the reference to the document. And sometimes, especially if we have a lot of data, there might also be some supplementary data. So there might be an additional file. In this case, it doesn't look like there is, but if there was, I would, I would go ahead and, and download that file as well. Okay, now, uh, several ways you can do this. The easiest way is to go to my desktop uh, application of Zotero. And in this case, I'm gonna add this to our Deep Plastics shared group library. And so I have that guy selected. Then I come up here to my file, and I'm going to say import. Okay, if I were to say new item, that would be where I would be uh, manually entering the information. I don't want to do that. I want to hit import. And then I'm going to say, yes, it's one of these file formats. And I'll say, OK. OK, so first here, I'm going to the actual citation, not the PDF, the citation thing. So I'm going to grab this guy, say, OK, open that dude. And there we go. OK, cool, great, done. So now, in my, in my uh, shared library, I have my reference. Um, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, hey, you know what I'd like to do? I would like to add an attachment. So what I've done is I've come up here. I've selected it. I've right-clicked. Or if I'm on, on my Mac, I'm going to Control-click. And then I'm going to say Add Attachment. I could also say Find Available PDF if this was an open source thing. But I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I want to attach a stored copy of the file. I'm going to navigate to where I've parked the actual actual bad guy, and that's this one. Say, OK, boom. And now, as I note, now there's a PDF attached to it. So now whenever I go through and, and find that reference in, my, in our shared group, I can read it. Anybody can read it who's accessing my database. So I can go ahead and read the full thing, add whatever additional data, et cetera. So that's how to get a single reference into our shared Zotero reference manager.